my channel. My name is Sarah Vita. If you don't already know, which you probably don't already know, <laughs> considering I'm not popular, but that don't matter. I guess I, I don't know. I, I do all sorts of crazy stuff. I cuss, I drink, I smoke cigarettes. I look like a weird reject from a 1954 horror movie. So, I don't know. There's that, too. But, yeah, I talk about all sorts of stuff. And, uh, today, just to give y'all a little backstory, um, um, a little while ago, I used to, when I was on Facebook a lot and whatever, I used to make videos for my family. And everybody loved rant videos. Even people that were just friends that I didn't really talk to. Uh, yeah, so this isn't really gonna be a rant video, but, uh, I'm drinking, so, uh, just open it, by the way. Oh, it's Blue Moon, not sponsored. If you're not 21, don't drink. There you go. I think I got everything out of the way now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's supposed to be like a, I don't know. That was a long time ago when I had it, so whatever. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Do I fix my hair from falling? Dying? Sounds great. I don't even know. I'm sure as most of you know, or have heard, um, about this whole, Marilyn Manson baloney going on. Yeah. Um, I just like to give my thoughts and opinions about this because something I like to do, which I've been terrified to do on this channel, but I literally have 30 subscribers, so I don't know. Yeah, I get to the point. I also like to talk, so if you don't like that, you might want to find a different shot of uh, whiskey or something somewhere because I'm a shot of rum. <laughs> So, anyway, to get back on where we're trying to go with this. Um, I've never really been a big Marilyn Manson fan. Um, actually, when, if you don't already know or watch the videos about my style musical journey thing, um, I, uh, never really admitted to really liking his music only because, you know, I, I was one of the rare people that, uh, actually listened to The Cure and Susan the Banshees, and I was so uber goth. Oh my god, I'm the most gothest of the goth. Yeah, and so Susie the Banshees, and I literally went through a phase where I only listened to, like, post-punk, gothic rock, synth pop from the 80s, like, death rock, yeah. Which I still like all that stuff, I just kind of burned myself out on it. Now, I enjoyed, you know, Death Rock a little more than the rest of them, but... And Sisters of Mercy. I love Sisters of Mercy. That's not the point. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I never really, uh... All the... The thing that just aggravated me, the reason I didn't like him, it's kind of like a Evanescence and an ICP thing. All these, like, kids that would run around and be like, oh, I'm so goth and I'm so goth, and I'm like but Marilyn Manson, and mind you, I was like 14, 15 years old, so 13 even, like, I was one of those people, I mean, I knew about the subculture, I knew about the music, but I was probably like a 50-year-old elder goth, if you ask me, <laughs> I was very crazy and strict when it came to that, so yes, people, people like Marilyn Manson and Evanescence, ICP, which... I don't know. I just, I, I hated them all. Anybody that listened to them, I was like, well, you're not goth because, you know, you don't actually listen to goth music, which I still kind of feel that way, but at the time, I was like, you know what, you're not listening, no, that's all you listen to, you're obsessed with Marilyn Manson, he's not goth. He's not goth at all. So, sorry. Sorry to offend you. Um, yeah. So, as I got a little bit older, I kind of started, um... Listening to his stuff a little more, but I wasn't, like, super into him. I'm still not super into him. I never really have been. I can I enjoy some of his music. I do. I have, like, two songs on my phone. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go through one of those back, whatever. <laughs> listen to him again, whatever. I'll go through one of those and listen to whatever all night. Like, that genre or something. Well, now... 
here's the thing, though. So now that we got a little backstory about that, and I've wasted four minutes talking about uh, my teenage musical tastes and being a douchebag, uh, <laughs> let's get into the real tea. The real tea here. Now, the real tea here is all of this... Um, as we've seen in the news, if you don't Google it or whatever, alternative land news. Um, yeah, Marilyn Manson is being, you know, apparently, has allegedly, reminds me of one of those shows that you watch, just like all inmates are innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> I watch too many murder shows and jail shows. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just... I don't know. The thing that I think is funny about this whole situation is Dee Devontes. I love Dee Devontes, obviously. That's... I'm pretty much both of the aesthetics combined. And mix a hillbilly in there and you got me. So, I mean, I don't know. From her side of the story, she was married to him for quite, quite a while. And he never did anything like that to her. So, I don't know. And... I kind of would, you know, just like, I just don't understand, like, I don't know, I don't really want to get into that part of it, because, I mean, that sucks if he did do it, like, no one should be, you know, that's not a cool thing, I have also been, you know, sexually abused before, and it's not, not okay, and it's not something fun to talk about, but the part that I want to talk about mainly, <sighs> You need, like, because I've seen where people are like, okay, well, if you just separate the art from the artist, if you just blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. You can do that. It's really easy. Um, people talking about, oh, don't get tattoos and blah, blah, and do, do, do. Which I don't have a male medicine tattoo because I want a Rob Zombie tattoo now. The moral of this whole story is going to be Rob Zombie is king. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's not going to be the moral. Mm-hmm. All right. So, basically, I mean, we'll just, I'll just give it to you straight. When I was little, because I have loved Rob Zombie literally my entire life. Pretty much since he came out in 1998 with Hellbilly, Hellbilly Deluxe. I have been in love with the man. I love him so much. I've loved pretty much every song he's came out with. You know, even if I didn't like it, I'd still listen to it. You know, I got a big, I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan. Die Hard. Even like some of his films. I think some of them are a little interesting, a little too, uh, but for my taste, but you know, this is, this is a Rob Zombie house here. And you know, there's one thing, because I grew up very Christian, I grew up, there was actually a point in my life where I did not say a cuss word for like a year. I was very, very, very religious. Now, mind you, I still am, I am currently more spiritual than religious, I'll put it that way. But my mom always told me, you know, because she actually took the CD away from me. There is a point to this. I know I'm not talking about Marilyn Manson, but there is a point to this. You know, she took the CD away from me because they read the, the lyrics to something, Ballad of Joe Rosa Whore or something. I forgot. I never really liked that song anyway. I was too obsessed with Dragula and Living Dead Girl. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I never really listened to it anyway. And I still don't really care for it that much. I mean, I'll let it play, but... I, well, you know, my spider's falling. My goodness. That's, uh, this is, um, Judy, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> um, my mom told me, you know, as long as you don't take anything to heart, then, you know, I think it's fine. You know, not that Rob Zombie's a bad person. He's actually a really amazing person, and, uh, he's a vegan, and blah, I'm not vegan, but I think that's cool, and they're, you know, he's very, him and Sherry are really cool. So, they've been together for years. So, probably not the best couple to go against Marilyn Manson. Um, but, yeah. So, just, you know, like my mom's always told me, you can listen to anything. Listen to any kind of music. Whatever you want. And even if there's like, you know, like say, like a message that you don't like in it. But you just like the music. Just don't take it to heart. Like, 
if, you know, you're, you know, it's like people have said, it's like listening to something in another language that you don't understand, but you really like it. It could be talking about murdering everybody in the world and, you know, you know, I was just taught, you know, music is music, you know, that's like, you know, and he's, he, you know, that's one thing to keep in mind with Marilyn Manson, you know, at least in my opinion. If this video goes viral, which I doubt that, or a lot of people watch it, opinions are like assholes and everybody's got one, so that's just mine. And if you make it through the first four minutes of me yapping about my teenage years, then if I had your address, I'd send you a box of homemade cookies. Um... <laughs> But, I mean, you know, it just, you can separate. I know it's hard for some people to do that because some people, um, you know, everybody's different. If we were all the same, this would be a boring-ass world, I'll tell you that. So, you know, it just, uh, you know, I don't want to say who cares. I'm not trying to say that about the whole situation. Um, I just have an opinion on it, and I just wanted to share it. So, God, I look like I got King Kong's hand. <laughs> I mean, it's all up to you, but just know you can still like something. You can still listen to something, even if you don't like the person. Here's another example. Thomas Kincaid. I know we all know who Thomas Kincaid is. Makes those beautiful, had did the whole Disney thing, makes beautiful paintings and stuff. He actually had... A uh, whole collection of child pornography. So, uh, yeah. Don't like him. He can burn in hell. But he's got pretty paintings. Beautiful paintings. I mean, you know, it's... Which I strongly, strongly, strongly dislike, disagree with. Hate, even. <laughs> I don't like to say the word hate, dear. It's very strong. You don't hate anyone. You just dislike them. Um, yeah, like, if, if we all went on, that's like, you know, and there's someone in my family that does not like gay people. And, but they love Queen. Freddie Mercury was gay. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's one of those things, like, which I know that's really stupid. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> So, like, you can still like Marilyn Manson's music. You just don't, you don't have to like him. He's kind of a little too weird for me anyway, and I'm pretty damn weird. Uh, but, um, I don't know. Just never been a fan. Plus, he is a shock rocker. If it, like, people were talking about, um, some of his, I've never been to a Marilyn Manson concert, by the way. But his, I do have his, uh, autobiography, though. Um, which I stole. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, technically, I did from one of my ex-friends. I didn't really steal it. She just left it at my house and then never talked to me again. Or we never talked again. It was a mutual thing. So, And when I went to give it back to her, she never came and she moved. And then she took my jacket. So I guess we're even. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good read. I mean, he does go into a lot about his childhood and how, um, you know, he did just a lot of weird stuff. I would recommend it. Actually, if you hold on, I'll go get it for you. All right, so that's the book. Yeah, uh, it's called uh, the long, the long, hard road out of hell. Marilyn Manson with Neil Strauss. So he does talk about you know his life and times and how could anyone think he's hot? You, he's not. I'm sorry, I went to, I had a lot of friends, well, not a lot of friends, but I had most of my friends that were alternative also, excuse me, were obsessed with Marilyn Manson, and I'm over here like, Rob Zombie, <laughs> like, oh, he's so hot, I'm like, Rob Zombie's hot, and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> But anyway, I just I just wanted to come on here and make a point and a backstory about uh, you know it's okay you can dismiss the artist you can still like the song. Just saying, you know you don't have to support that artist you can still 
listen to whatever. People should be able to do what they want, you know. My aunt used to write Charles Manson, not Marilyn Manson, Charles Manson in jail, which is odd and a little bit not really on topic. But I think people should be able to do what the hell they want as long as they aren't hurting anybody. Like, not the whole situation, but I mean, like, listening to what you want. And, you know, that's kind of like I used to be really into Corey Taylor and then still love his voice and still, you know, love his music and all. Just, nah, nah, I won't get into that either. But, you know, that's why we're all different, though. And if you want to quit listening to Marilyn Manson because, you know, he may or may not have done something terrible, not defending him, and I'm not throwing him a damn party either. So, I'm just saying. I'm still going to listen to some of his stuff. I don't even really like him that much anyway. Just like I said, sometimes I like some a couple of his songs a lot, but that's not going to stop me from listening to it. Just, I don't know. Anyway... Opinions are like assholes, and Rob Zombie is king. <laughs> so anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I hope y'all have a good one. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel, because I do other shit besides this. Hope y'all have a good one.